Good morning, gorgeous soul. Ooh, how are you today? I hope you're feeling refreshed and beautiful, vibrant and radiant as ever, because you, you're a freaking queen. <laughs> so let's dive into today's topic. As I mentioned yesterday, I want to talk about choosing. More specifically, I want to talk about choosing yourself when you're in those moments of doubt and fear, right? When you, mm, you're not thinking the highest of yourself. That's when you need to choose you. And I talked about yesterday playing this game of life and reaching out for support, you know, finding those people that are your counsel, getting them in your corner. But the thing that I feel like a lot of people often bypass or just don't talk about, frankly, when they are talking about living your best life and making the most of it and having fun. It's as if they just want to skip over the fact that you're going to have a bad day. Like you're going to have some bad moments for sure, but you're also going to have a bad day. Like there's going to be some doozies out there and maybe those doozies snowball. I have been caught up in depressions that have lasted months and that's okay. It is. I used to be so ashamed of it. But this is your human experience. And we get to have these. You going through whatever it is you're going through means that you're alive. Oh, man, I used to hate that. <laughs> Someone said that to me one time when I was depressed. And I was like, why are you here? What are you doing? You're a waste of my life, like my energy, my time, my space. Please remove yourself from existence. Like I was so upset um, because that was just ugh, like the worst thing they could ever say. But it's true. There's so much truth in it. So let's just unpack this a little bit. And I want to start with this quote. Um, this is by Robert Hughes. And this is what he says. The greatest artists are the greatest doubters. And this is, this is the profound moment for me, okay? Because it wasn't the doubt that got me. It was this. It was that... The, he says this, let me just read it to you and then I'll dive into this. He says, perfect confidence is granted to the less talented as a consolation prize. This hit me so much differently when I took this in. This is what actually did it for me. This is what changed it. And here's why. Because I realized that as I am doubting everything, as I am doubting everything, I am actually more alive than ever, right? When I am doubting myself, it's because I have something great to risk. Because if I didn't have anything great to risk, what, what would I be so afraid of? Like, what would I even be doubting? If you didn't catch the, the training that I did on turning your doubt into power, then make sure that we talk about that. Like, make sure you get a hold of me. Um, let me get you a copy of that. Because in that, I talk about how doubt is fear, okay? That's what it is. It's the fear creeping up. And I talk about how you can take that doubt and turn it into your power. And I learned that through this experience. I learned how to do that through going through one of the hardest seasons of my life. It was such a bad, toxic, crazy situation that made me really reevaluate things. And I did not want to stand firm. I had to make some really big decisions and I had to cut some people out and I had to, you know, put some hard boundaries up. And that sent me into this spiral because I felt so unworthy. I felt like the worst person in the world. I felt like I was letting so many people down and somehow choosing my husband, choosing my family, choosing my daughter's health, choosing my own health, especially felt worse, felt like the wrong decision compared to staying in the toxic environment. And it was that, it was then, it was through that whole situation that I finally realized that it felt so bad and I doubted myself so hard. I doubted that I was making the right decision. I was doubting that I was strong enough to walk through that season because I had something worth living for. I had something worth fighting for. I had something amazing at stake. And that's the truth. So when you're feeling all of these emotions, and yes, it's overwhelming sometimes, just remember that that is the evidence that you are living a really, 
really real life. And that is so fucking cool. Don't pardon my French. Uh, that's just, that's just the authentic truth. That's just who I am. So choose you. Okay. Yes. Choose you choose happiness, choose all of the fun and excitement. I want you to live your best life. I really do. But don't think that living your best life is mutually exclusive to experiencing life. Okay. You can live your best life and still hit hiccups. You can live your best life and still doubt every single thing that you're doing. You can live your best life and still wonder if you are worthy of that life. You absolutely can. And in those moments, just give yourself grace and remember that you're only questioning yourself because you have something so big, so amazing, so much potential. There's so much there. And that is worth losing. And that's why you question it. And then take a deep breath in and smile with your entire body because you have that amazing thing. You have you, you have your life, you have your existence and it's fabulous. Okay. So go out, go do something amazing today. Go be your awesome self. When doubt comes in, give it a little pep talk, you know, or if that doesn't work, give it a one, two, twice over right hook, whatever it takes, but kick it to the curb because today is your day. This is your life and you are going to do it your way. I believe in you. All right. So thank you for being here for morning moments with me. I'm Maureen Casey. I appreciate you today and every day. And I'll talk to you soon.